I'm coming to you from my hotel room in Detroit, Michigan. I'm here for a seminar, as well as one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounters. You can have your one-on-one -on -one encounter. To get free, stay free, and live free by going online and booking an appointment or coming to our ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona. But don't put off your opportunity to have the life you deserve and that Christ died for of spiritual victory and blessing. As if we don't have enough problems in the Western world and enough demons attacking us, now there is a new front that has been opened, an effort by academics and politicians and government to legalize previously banned substances. And this time it's magic mushrooms, psilocybin, LSD, ayahuasca, hallucinogens, psychotropics of all sorts. They've done it in Denver, Colorado, previously my hometown, and also in Oakland, California, and they want to go nationwide with it. They're claiming that psilocybin can cure anxiety, PTSD, depression, even cancer. All this by magic mushrooms. They've taken a page from the playbook of the cannabis movement, who started out by saying, oh, we just want medical marijuana. Of course, what they wanted all along was the total legalization of recreational marijuana. Now, these are not just a bunch of acid hit hippies from the 60s. They're very serious about this. And yet, I want to tell you that from my experience in four decades of counseling and deliverance ministry, taking psychedelics is one of the fastest way to become demon-possessed. It's been that way throughout history. The ancient Aztecs did it. The ancient Hindus did it. It has been with many pagan religions a way to open up a human being to demonic forces. And now they're wanting to do it legally. This getting high on psychedelics is something that has been around for a long time and has devastated the East, but now it's coming to the West. And Christians are going to have to up their game on this. Standing against things like magic mushrooms is just as much pro-life as protesting in front of a Planned Parenthood clinic. I want to read to you part of a three-page article in the international journal called The Economist that did a three-page article on the legalization of psychedelics, quoting a major research firm and the researcher in charge of investigating psychedelics. Listen to these words. It may be that what you get from psychedelics is a crash course in the effect that you could get from a long-held meditation practice. The self-control and cognitive benefits from meditation couldn't come from a crash course. But in terms of the enhanced sense of self, this may be a helicopter ride to the top of the mountain while those on the meditation path are hiking up. In other words, psychedelics are now being viewed, as many serious researchers look at it, as a way of spiritual enlightenment, of getting in touch with the inner God self. Now, folks, this is warmed over witchcraft and occultism, and we've got to take a stand against it. This idea that you can fast-track spirituality with psychedelics to find the God inside you is the lie from Eden putting into new context of the legalization of psychedelics. Yes, you might get a fast track to believing that you're a God by dropping acid or using psilocybin, but I want to warn you, you're also going to get an unwanted truckload of demon spirits.